right, so we are just continuing our practice that we did in the last video. Um, we're given basically two ordered pairs from function notation. Just remember the first one is the x, that's your input. The output is the y. So we can put that together as the ordered pair is 0, 0. Our other ordered pair will be 3, comma, negative 2. From this, we have to write an equation. So first thing we're going to do is find our slope. So I like to label my ordered pairs. It's a good habit to be in for slope. So slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we have negative 2 over 3. So now we're going to pair our slope with one of our points. I always just pick the first one. And we go into point slope form. y minus 0 equals negative 2 thirds times x minus 0. So y minus 0 equals, let's distribute that slope. We have negative 2 thirds x, and negative 2 thirds times 0 is just 0. And then this y minus 0, well, that's just 0, so we have y is equal to negative 2 thirds x. This is not a special equation or a special line because we have the x and the y. It looks a little different because we're missing that y-intercept. So if you don't have the y-intercept on the end, Remember, that just means that it's the y-intercept is 0, 0. It goes through the origin. So let's put this back into function notation because that's how the problem started. So f of x equals negative 2 thirds x. All right. So these problems are pretty repetitive. but when, And once we get the hang of them, then these will be great. So just remember... You want to rewrite these as ordered pairs, so you have negative 3, 2, and you have 3, 12. Finding our slope first, you have x1, y1, x2, y2. So slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is minus a negative, so it becomes positive. 10 over 6 doesn't reduce, so let's, or doesn't divide, so let's reduce that. Divide by 2 and you get 5 over 3. So then you grab your slope and you pair it with that first point, and we can go into point slope form. y minus 2, so y minus y1 equals 5 thirds times x minus x1, which is negative 3, so we'll say plus 3. Now to solve, we're going to go ahead and distribute your slope. 5 thirds times x is just 5 thirds x. 5 thirds times 3 is just a 5. Then we're going back and solving for y. So we have y equals 5 thirds x plus 7. But again, remember, we're going to switch out that y because we started in function notation, so final answer, f of x is equal to 5 thirds x plus 7.